Her name is now famous even during the interdenominational mass service. 47 victims of the Solai Dam tragedy are being laid to rest. I am moved by one particular case where a mother who had drowned and passed on had a child strapped on her back. That child was removed, she was one month old, and through the efforts of this special lady, that child is alive today. <laughs> Your Excellency, I wish to recognize her name is Mary Warugoro from here in Solaya. This is a story of one woman, a heart of gold, and a clinic. The Lakela Clinic is a 24-hour clinic and had just opened its doors to Solai community in January. <laughs> Barely three months in, <laughs> tragedy struck. A dam in Solai broke its walls. <laughs> a sudden burst moving with everything on its way. Everyone scampered for safety, including two doctors based at the clinic. Morning came with the reality of what many here can only describe as the end of the world. This was it, they thought. But the night also revealed hearts of gold. Without any medical history, 32-year-old Mary stepped up. Someone had to. The skills she had learned years back at the Kenya Red Cross would come in handy. It was already like drying up and he was also like um, getting stiff, you know, and you could see like his body was just so lifeless. You know, actually, I must say I got very emotional. I, I took the child and placed him on my chest. In the process, I was talking to the child and telling him not to leave us, not to leave us, you know, encouraging him to leave on. I would get confused and I put him on the, on the coach and to just like check if he's, if he's breathing. And eventually he gave a big bap. And that's when we knew like, that's the second chance. She rallied the women to use their body warmth as incubators for the small children covered in mud freezing. The women were actually very, very good. They were very responsive. They were volunteering to do that. And even sometimes you could see like if someone is actually tired doing that, they would, someone would actually come and volunteer and say, what an idea. That night, countless lives were saved. Then the next day, all the staff, um, they all uh, resigned except one. Our lab technician. No one had been prepared for the horrific events of that night, but Mary says she was not moved. She had made up her mind to help the community, but Mary says that when she initially set up, her aim was to serve the disabled in Solai. At least 50 homes are under the clinic's care today. The clinic also offers uh, physiotherapy services to people living with disability and the elderly. We offer it for free to them. Because these are very small uh, things that if we all are serious in whatever we're doing in life, we can actually offer the services if we want it. That night, Mary tells us she was just doing what was right. Life had already taught her to be selfless. I lost my sister. And it was the most painful thing for us to see. If you go to a facility and you're not being attended to, and yet it's an emergency and you're being left unattended. It was one of the most painful thing for us to see that a 19 year old who had so much life and so much, you know, hope in the future, her life just being taken away like that. Your Excellency, I wish to recognize her name is Mary Warugoro from here in Solai. When her name was called out, she had just finished a night shift at the clinic. She then decided to pass by the prayer service. She had been informed that the clinic would be mentioned for helping the community at the time of distress. When I had my name, my mind was telling me to run. 
go yeah just go back to the clinic the guy who was close to me and she said where are you running to eh? when you when you've been called out if uh, now they call uhuru mudamaki mudamaki has called you you don't run you go and sit with him uhuru was writing something so he was busy like uh, concentrating so the people who were sitting behind the where the mcas were uh, said that I, could, I can I can just go and sit behind and wait for the president to finish what he was doing. So I went and sat there, and then when the president finished, he called like he 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 signaled for me to come. So I went, and honestly, I was actually shocked because it was like pungezi pungezi sana, umefanya kazi mzuri sana, eh? Na hiyo roho uendelee nayo. Sasa mimi I didn't know what I was supposed to tell you. Nikamwambia ni kweli asante. So I sat with them CM by next to the president. And I'm telling you it was not an easy thing sitting next there. I was shaking to the point the MCA was telling me relax, relax, you know. He gave me an envelope and <laughs> I actually burst out in tears. Her vision is to expand the clinic to be able to host a maternity wing, help many more. Mary hopes that her story will inspire others to do good, to step up when need be, even when it's tough, doing unto others what you'd want to be done unto you. On that fateful night when Solai village was marred by panic and confusion, this four-room clinic was the hope for many. But it's not just the clinic. One woman, Mary Waruguru, risking her life to save the lives of many. Masi Kandietanui, Citizen TV, Lekela Clinic, Solai village, Nakuru County.